Hi, I'm Janice Meredith from JBM Think Sports Parenting, Coach's Wife for 29 years and Sports Mom for 21. I'm sure that some of you a couple weeks ago, in between watching the entertaining Super Bowl commercials, were actually watching the game and you saw that Denver upset the Panthers. And a lot of you may have been reading in the in the social media and in news reports um, talking about stories about how Cam behaved after the loss, how he behaved in front of the media. And, um, you know, some of their, well, there was a lot of condemnation, you know, oh, he's a role model, he shouldn't be doing this. And there was other people that said, oh, you know, that's okay, he's young and, he, you know, he'll grow out of it. Um, but, you know, Peyton would have never done that. Well, actually, Peyton did do it a little while, a long time ago. He refused to shake Drew Brees' hand. So, you know, they've all done it at one time or another. So whether or not, you know, Cam behaved properly is not why I'm here to talk to you today. What I'm here to talk to you about is what about when your child loses? Because let's be honest, parents, <laughs> losing is not fun. I mean, we talk about you sports should be fun and we got to make it fun. And, and yes, it should be fun, but there are times in that fun when it's not fun. When losing sometimes majorly sucks. It just does. My, my husband, it was a coach. My, my kids played. I, there was losses when it, it just like was getting a kick in the gut. And so I understand that losing can be hard. And so sometimes when, when your child is going through this, the best thing that you can do is to let them lose in peace. You know, they don't need to hear um, these empty platitudes like, oh, it's okay, better luck next time, somebody had to lose. No, they don't really need to hear that. Sometimes they just need um, a pat on the back and, uh, hey, I'm sorry, because nothing else is really gonna help. And, and they need space sometimes and they need to lose in peace. There will come a time probably eventually when they will come back and wanna talk about the loss. But for those few moments and that a time immediately afterwards, let your kids lose in peace. Let them grieve. It's a loss. And, and let them grieve without trying to make them live up to some standard of behavior that they should be better than that. You know, they're kids. And they will mature. And I assume that Cam Newton is going to also mature as he plays the longer in the NFL with the ups and downs. He will mature and he will grow and he will become better at handling his own losses. But for now, parents, let your kids lose in peace. You know, I, I read a story also about Peyton and Eli Manning and how their parents react when they lose. And it said that their parents, when, when one of their sons loses, when a loss happens, they wait until their son calls them. They let their son make the first move when they lose instead of calling them and trying to say, oh, it's okay, son, you know, you'll, you'll get it next time. They let their sons have space, let them lose in peace, and then eventually the sons reach out to their parents because they have a good relationship with them and they want to talk about it. But they, they, they hold back until their sons make the first move. I think that's kind of a good idea, actually. You know, when your kid loses, give them the space, let them lose in peace, and let them make the first move to talk about it. Because when they're ready to talk about it, then you can have a good conversation. So just remember that, that losing is hard and it's not always going to be fun no matter how much fun you sports is, losing is still going to be hard. And give your kids the space to lose in peace. Have a great week and remember to be part of the Positive Sports Parenting Tribe.